Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about when's the best time to come and visit Thailand. Really any time of the year is good to come and visit Thailand. Although we're in rainy season now, it doesn't rain every day. I, I put some pictures above and we went to the beach the other day, the group of friends. We took a barbecue, some seats and a few beers and we had a, a pleasant day sat by the beach and this is during rainy season so you still get nice sunshine and blue skies it doesn't rain every day so if you came on holiday during rainy season you're not going to have two weeks of rain every day it's actually welcome the rain because it cools everything down for a little bit and, it, and it's nice and it's actually good to watch I didn't think I'd ever say that about watching the rain but coming from the UK we had so many rainy days I look forward to the sunshine but in Thailand when you have nine months of sunshine virtually every day it's nice to see a bit of grey, a bit of rain as you can see behind me the greenery and all the plants and the grass looks, looks very good because the rain waters all everything and everything just shoots up it, it's lovely the flowers, the scenery, everything's much much greener and the other two seasons really are the dry season and the cold, cool season. So three seasons a year, which is the rainy season, which we're in now, June time. And then there's the, the dry season, which is from February till about May, June time. And then the cool season, which is about from November up to February time. And the cool season is very pleasant. It's still in the high 20s to early 30s, and, but it's not as humid like it is now in, in, the, in the wet season or the rainy season. So visiting Thailand anytime. It's just lovely. It's lovely. As I said, by the photographs that you'll see of when we went to the beach by the barbecue, food is so cheap here to barbecue. As you can see, the big prawns, we had spare ribs, we had chicken, we had vegetables and the girls all cooked all the food and it was a fantastic afternoon and very very cheap so if you're living here on the budget and you have a group of friends going down to the beach and having a, an afternoon out it's next to nothing and the kids are just happy playing on the beach or playing with their buckets and spades it all makes for an enjoyable lifetime living here especially if you're living on a budget do this type of thing and you can live a very very nice life and it doesn't and it's never going to cost you a lot of money at all i think the whole day costs us about three or four hundred baht and that included the the drinks and the food and the charcoal and everything that went with it but as you can see by the videos you know it was a pleasant afternoon and this is the lifestyle that you can live when you come over here to Thailand. It's not all about bars and nightclubs. If you find the girl that you want to be with and you live in a nice area, you're gonna get some expats friends who will also have Thai girlfriends and everybody likes going to the beach or going to the countryside. We're off to Trat next week for a, a couple of days. And again, that's 700 baht a night to stay in a, in a beautiful location. I'll put a, a video on that after we come back from Trat. Um, about the location where we stayed and what was what was there. It's like a, a water park and the Thai girls, we've been there before but I didn't take a video of it. But this time we're gonna take a video of it and I'll, I'll put it on for 700 baht a night and that includes breakfast. So cheap living here. So if you want to know any questions, please email me on the, the link below. And until the next time, from Les, living the dream in Thailand. Bye for now.